Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to learn integration into inverse trigonometric functions. So in this lecture, guys, the formulas that we are going to use are we have the integral of du all over the square root of a squared minus u squared is equal to arc sine u over a plus c, where a is greater than zero. So the second formula that we are going to use in this lecture is derivative of u, the integral, the indefinite integral of du all over a squared plus u squared is equal to 1 over a arc tan u over a plus c, where a is not equal to zero. Okay? So, in this case, guys, as you can see, mayroon tayong pattern sa ating mga formula. So, kapag yung ating um, a, which is a constant, okay, sa kanya nakasubtract yung may, may variable na expression, that is arc sine. Okay? So, kapag naka-add, and the expression is in terms of a squared plus u squared, that is arc tan. Now, if yung ating uh, expression is that yung ating constant, yung nakasubtract doon sa may variable and express in terms of square root of u squared minus a squared, yung denominator natin, and of course, times u, that is 1 over a, arc second, the absolute value of u over a, plus c, where a is greater than 0. So, just like what we're doing before, guys, we are going to solve this uh, using your u substitution or the substitution process. So, let's start solving the first problem. So, here, we have the integral, the indefinite integral of dx all over that is square root of 4 minus x squared. So, in this case, as you can see, guys, yung ating uh, variable is nakasubtract siya doon sa constant. So, ang gagamitin natin dyan is arc sine, di ba? So, uh, going back to the formula, so that is integral of du all over that is the square root of a squared minus u squared is equal to arc sine arc sine u over a plus c okay so identify natin guys lahat ng element ng formula natin so starting from a squared so anong a squared natin of course that is a constant so a squared is yung 4 dito so that is a squared is equal to 4 so, a is equal to 2. So, getting the square root of both sides. So, just get the positive value because the conditions of the formula is that a should be greater than 0. Okay? So, in this example, so, yung u squared natin, of course, yung may variable. Okay? So, that is u squared is equal to yung x squared. Okay? Getting the square root of both sides, that is uh, u equals x. So, just get the positive value. Now, uh, meron tayong a, meron tayong u, so wala tayong derivative of u, so let's get that by differentiating this u is equal to x. So therefore, derivative of u equals derivative of x. Then after that, we will just substitute that into our formula. So integral of, that is yung du natin dx, all over the square root of, so yung a natin is 2, so that is 2 squared. Minus u squared, which is x squared. Okay, so we will compare that to your original expression, no? Kung may nagbago sa ating expression or may nadagdag bang constant. So in this case, walang nadagdag na constant. So therefore, we don't have to use our balancing constant. So we will proceed to the formula because nasatisfy na natin yung expression so that we can perform our final answer. Okay, so that is arc sine u over a, ano yung u natin? u is x over a, which is 2. And of course, don't forget the arbitrary constant c. So that is now the final answer for this first problem. So let's proceed here guys sa ating next problem. So overall, we're going to solve, I think that is uh, 5 to 6 problems in this video. Okay, so we have here the indefinite integral of uh, dx all over 9 plus x squared. And guys, kitang-kita natin, no? so wala siyang square root sign. 
and then naka-add siya. So therefore, ang gagamitin natin dito guys is yung ating arc tangent. So that is integral of, that is du all over, that is a squared plus u squared is equal to 1 over a, and then arc tan u over a, course plus c. So here, identify natin lahat ng elements ng ating expression so that we can perform the formula. Okay? So here, yung constant a squared natin, of course, siya ang 9. So therefore, a is equal to 3. So getting the square root, no? So just get the positive value. So yung ating u squared is equal to x squared. Okay? So, squaring both sides or getting the square root of both sides, that gives you uh, u is equal to x. Then, identify natin ano yung derivative of u. So, derivative of u equals derivative of x. Okay? And then, finally, we can substitute in the expression. So, integral of du natin, dx lang, all over a squared. So, that is 3 squared plus u squared natin, that is x squared. So, walang nabago sa ating expression, guys. No? So, wala tayong dinagdag na constant. So, therefore, no need for balancing constant here. Just perform the formula. Because nasatisfy na natin yung ating expression. So, 1 over a. That is, ang a natin is 3. So, 1 third. Arc tangent. U over a. So, u natin is x. A natin is, of course, 3. So, substitute lang and then plus C. So, this is now our final answer for this problem. Okay, so let's proceed sa ating next problem. That is the indefinite integral of dx all over the square root of 16 minus 49x squared. So, here, nauna pa rin guys yung constant, no? And then, nakasubtract yung variable doon sa ating constant. So, going back to the formula, pag ganito yung form natin, that is arc sine. So, the integral of du all over the square root of a squared minus u squared is equal to, so that is arc sine u over a plus c. Okay, identify natin lahat ng elements ng ating formula. So, dito guys, a squared is the constant, so that is 16. So, therefore, getting the square root of both sides, that gives you a equals 4, okay? And then, yung ating u squared, so u squared is equal to etong my variable, which is 49x squared. Getting the square root of both sides, this gives us u equals 7x. Okay, because the square root of 49 is 7. So, uh, let's proceed to getting the derivative of u. Okay? So, derivative of u equals, copy the constant, differentiate the variable. Okay? Derivative of x. And then, after that, substitute in the expression or in the formula. So, that is integral of. So, du natin is 7 derivative of x all over. Okay, that is the square root of a squared. So, a natin is 4. So, that's 4 squared, 16. Okay, minus u squared. u squared natin is basically 49x squared or that is 7x quantity squared. So, here, let's compare that to our original expression. So, dito as you can see, meron kang nadagdag na constant after substitution. Okay? So, because uh, 7 is needed for us to perform the formula. Okay? Kasi ang u natin is 7x, therefore derivative of u is 7dx. So, kailangan mo ng 7dx dun so that we can satisfy the formula and finally perform this final answer. Okay? So, dito ang gagawin natin para mag-equal siya doon sa ating original expression, dapat mag-multiply tayo ng 1 over 7. Okay? So, that itong dalawang expression are now or still equal. Okay? So, para wala tayong ginawang magic dun sa ating expression. Okay? Perform the formula. Of course, don't forget to copy the constant na inad natin. So, 1 7. So, that is arc sine u over a. Ano yung u natin? u is 7x. a is 4. Okay, 7x over 4. 
and then plus C. So, this is now the final answer for our problem. Okay, so, that is the third problem. 